Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 90 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series. Uh, where today we are continuing on with our astral sorcery exploration. And uh, yeah, so if we come up here, we can see I did a little bit of, I mean, minor terraforming, nothing too crazy with our mat, our altar up here. So, God, those fish falling is just, like, the greatest thing ever. They just keep spawning and falling. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I just expanded these out so that we could, you know, have a little bit of room to work with here. Um, you know, added some stairs so that it looks so nice. It was just marble bricks. Nothing too fancy. Put up these little pillars. Hey, you know what? It is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I moved our light well over here and put it into the ground in our black hole tanks that we have this here. I was trying to figure out how we can automate this, and I don't know if the modular routers is gonna work. I tried with just like a placer and a sender. This, the light well does not act as an inventory, like the uh, top of it for the aquamarine does not act as an inventory. So we don't have any way to like uh, send items to it. The only thing I can think of, which I was trying to get my book out, if I can find it, my Akashic Tome. Um, it's probably right in front of me and I am blind and can't see it. I, I don't see it though. Akashic? Yeah, it's not in here. Well, let's take these mana gems and aluminum chunks out first. And let's check our system here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, and we can put this stuff in here. Um, reset, and let's get modular routers. H-I-J-K-L-M. Um, what I'm looking for is the player module. How does this work? Tries to transfer items between the router and a player's own inventory. Yeah, that's not what it was. Um, <clears throat> is there like a... Nope. Like I just need, I need something like a right click module. Something that can click. Is there a click module? Camouflage, creative, detector, distributor. No, that's gonna distribute between inventories. Um, bu -bu 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 a mimic augment. Any fake blocks extruded by the module to get the properties of the fake block, okay. Nothing here. Sync, stack, speed, sender, no. Security upgrade? Um, can only be opened by players whitelist to buy that upgrade. Yeah, it's actually activator attack module. And the activator module is in attack mode. It will ignore any activator module. Excuse me, there's something like stuck in my throat. Acts like a fake player, which can use an item in the router's buffer against nearby blocks or entities. Hmm. Activator modules, that sounds right. I thought I had read something about them adding something new. And this looks to be maybe what we need. <clears throat> so let's do that and then get two dispensers cooked up. And activator module. Let's get a modular router, please. Let's see if this works. So if we set this here, no. What I would want to do is have it facing that way. And we put this in here and we say, okay, the front, you're going to right click. That is correct, right? Right click. Hey, that works. So we can have it constantly be piping in aquamarines. <clears throat> Give me a second here. Let me clear my throat. Okay, took a drink of water. Should be good to go now. All right. Um, so here's the question though. This says 62. Did one of them break already? Or did I only put 63 in? Um, I don't remember how many I put in. Now, this can do it in any direction, right? Can it do it multiple directions? No, only the front. Um, look level. So what we could do is get in, cause I don't, I don't want to see this. Like, this area, I'd like to be like, other than our waystone here, which is not my favorite placing, but um, it uh, 
I mean, what else are we gonna do? And I guess I could put it like here. Astral altar. Um, I don't wanna be, I wanna see only astral sorcery mod items up here. So I don't wanna see this modular router. What we could do is use an entangle, entangled block. If we do this and we do this, let's break this. I wanna, I wanna validate that this works and we can't while it has something in there. So if we get a, our entangle, entangler, entangled binder and we, okay, we select this block. Now, if we go below, let's do this. Now, if we just like go right below this and we bind that, okay. And then we set up the modular router to go and face this direction. Okay. And it did face properly, right? Yes. And then we have that activator module and then we do this. Does it work? Um, if I change this to front, it does not work. Huh, interesting. And this is set to be a right click, look level, look above, look below, look level, like, nope. You just pick all the sides and see maybe Nothing. We're not getting anything out of it. Well, that is really unfortunate. Huh. I was hoping that would, I was really hoping that would work. This would probably let me pipe out the, um, liquid starlight from there, but that's not what I want. Well, oh, well, it was worth a try to see if we could do that. Um, but well, we couldn't. So I guess I'm not going to have any choice if I want to automate this. <clears throat> I'm going to have to uh, at least leave this modular router up here. Or I could just completely hide the light wells and have nothing. But um, no, we need, we're going to need liquid starlight. So it is what it is. Uh, the nice thing with doing this, though, is I can do this and not have to worry because we know it'll get replaced immediately as soon as it needs to go back in there. So let's do that. So we can put this away. We can put our Akashic Tome away. Um, and yeah. Okay. So our next steps here in our adventure into astral sorcery is going to be to look through the telescope. So what we want to do is go home and take a nap. And this is literally taking a nap because it's the middle of the day. I don't like necessarily this. You can see on our invent or on our mini map, like our astral temple up there is like showing up weird. It shows up like orange on our map, but hey, whatever. Um, but if we go, that's the temple. If we go up to our altar here, <clears throat> we are going to walk off that edge one of these times. Um, if we go up to our altar, we can begin working towards other projects um, like star metal. Star metal is something that we are going to want. Now, we do have, we did get a block of star metal, which I think that might be enough for us to be able to get started. Um, because in order to make star metal ore, we have to get iron ore. And you will see if we go over to the astral temple and we get our linking tool and we pop down here. It's almost nighttime. It is nighttime. If we take our, okay, come on, iron ore, we pop it here and we get our linking tool and we link here to here, you're going to see it converted over to star metal ore. And then it technically links to this block space so we can just, you know, continually do this and get our ore. Now the question is, is star metal ore, like, can we... What can we do with it is what I'm trying to say. We can energize smelt it into one ingot or we can energize smelt it into one ingot. That's about it. 
Um, a Crusher Spirit would get us two Stardust. And... <clears throat> uh, I apologize this episode if my voice sounds weird and I keep having to <clears throat> clear my throat. I do not know what is going on there. Um, yeah, so... Hmm. And then... Um, but we can't convert that back into ore. So we can go one direction, but not the other. That's what I was trying to see. Can we go both directions with this? Um, but we can't. So like the Crusher Spirit can get two Stardust from it, but we can't convert Stardust into the ingots, so it doesn't really help us too much there. Um, but that completes that quest, which then tells us to make the Star Metal Cutting Tool, which we are definitely going to need to do. So let's go ahead and pop up to our altar. And again, we are going to fall off the edge one of these times um, and get our star metal cutting tool. So we need some ingots and we need some of those infused wood planks. Infused wood. Oh, well, look, we got another block of star metal. And then we need some gold ingot nuggets. And I think that's everything, correct? Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff. Also, it is nighttime. We need to start working towards... Um, getting constellations, at least what we can find. Um, oh, and the infused wood? Infused wood planks. Um, oh, we have to put it into here. All right, where did you go? You are here. You go here with our resonating. And then we should be able to do the uh, star metal cutting tool. And this crafting altar has slightly, I mean, it's pretty much the same, to be honest, actually, the uh, animations. As we get up in tiers, the uh, crafting animations do change, so. Um, and that's a star metal cutting tool. This thing is enchantable, which is why it gives you a book of unbreaking three because it does have durability. Also, you can enchant it with looting or fortune, one of the two. Um, let's see. It's uh, mending, reactive, soulbound, fortune. Yeah, fortune. So if we have any fortunes available to us, maybe yes. Hashtag fortune. We have fortune four, which is fantastic. We'll use this with that and unbreaking. And I think we have like unbreaking four and we can get an unbreaking five. So all of that is going to go onto there. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get a chest um, and let's get a iron chest. So we can start storing some of this stuff because we're getting a lot of stuff and it's starting to get a little bit difficult to manage our inventory, especially with like all these arches or all these bricks and all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and put all of the astral sorcery stuff in here. And we'll even put that stuff away for now um, because we are going to get started looking at the sky. So if we look inside of our astral tome and we look at our constellations, we can see these are the constellations that we have um, learned but we, or yeah learned but we haven't discovered or we've discovered but haven't learned about yet one of the two because we need to go find them in the sky so what i'm going to do is take a quick screenshot of those and pull it up on my other monitor here if you give me one second i was not prepared for this but we will pull it up so i can reference it Screenshots, that's you. And we also have another one that I need to do. Vicio. And you. Okay, cool. So with that, we can access our telescope and we can see in the sky, we have stars out. And as we scroll through, what we're looking for is these big stars. You can see we have little stars, but what we need is big stars. And then from there, we have to kind of tell what um, uh, constellation this is, which this kind of looks like it could be Armara. And so what you do is you just drag 
in between the stars. And then, yeah, you go there. And then you go here. And then you go here. And then it'll unlock the constellation. Um, yeah, we have discovered it. So we learned about it and then we discovered it. And then if we look in the sky somewhere, look at that. It actually renders in the sky, which I think is really awesome. So then we can go through and see if we see any more big stars in the sky. They're fairly easy to spot. Like here, we have some more. Um, so we kind of have three in a little cluster here, which looks like it's probably going to be Dissidia, which is you to you, you to you, uh, you to you, you to you, and then you to you. And there we go, Dissidia. Oh, and we got another one. Um, you look like Armara. It is kind of hard to tell if you're not, like, with them blinking in and out, it is slightly difficult to, you know, guess what they are, but you kind of can count the stars to see. And then you connect back there, and there's Armara. And nothing, nothing, and then back to Dissidia. So that is all the constellations that are in the sky for the night. And if we look back into our book and we go to constellations and we say Dissidia, we now have a whole bunch of information on the constellation, such as the fact that it shows up generally when the moon is bright. And these are the moon phases that it will show up at. Light from this constellation penetrates, piercing to the heart of both materials and creatures alike. It's used for offense. Ritual effect. Dispersing of this light into small discordant energies in the area creates a damaging field, lashing out at all enemies nearby. The intensity increases as more starlight is channeled into the ritual. And then the same thing, you know, uh, if we go to Armara, that is a defense. And then we have Vicio over here. Um, or what else do we discover? Evorcio, that is destruction. And this can be used to break any solid blocks except those that cannot be broken. So, yeah. That is discovering constellations with astral sorcery. And then as you can see, as the day comes, they will fade. And then tomorrow, new constellations will appear. Because you can see we only have like a, we're missing a we're three quarter moon. Is that what that's called? I'm not 100%, but hey. Um, yeah, and that is constellation discovery, which is a really awesome part of this mod. Along with that, we have Attunement Altar, where we can attune ourselves to a specific constellation, um, which I think may be the next step for us. I think that may be where we go next. I was sure she was dead. As I turned, I saw her floating there, a limp fluff ball hanging in the air as if held by the scruff of her neck. A breath. Two. Then her eyes opened and I could see the entire night sky, them, probably in them. Imagine my relief, but she seems changed somehow. Does the attunement field interact with living beings in the same way as the crystals? I suppose I have little else to try besides join her. I'm assuming that whoever wrote this, the character uh, put their cat or dog or something in the attunement altar just to see what would happen, which you probably shouldn't experiment on animals, but hey, I guess it's Minecraft. They're not real, but it's not a good habit to get into. Uh, the attunement altar will attune both crystals and you to a given constellation. Hold the constellation paper in one hand to see the points of light. Once attuned, a talent tree opens. There is schematics for this. So let's go ahead and open up the schematics folder and get the attunement altar copied here real quick. Um, and from there, I hope that didn't freeze up on you guys. I don't know what happened there. Um, if it did, I apologize that the particle effects froze. Uh, anyway, attunement altar. Let's get our copy paste thingy. That's our template manager. Pop him down. We got to get our copy paste gadget out. You. And we're going to put you here and we're going to paste. And then we're going to see that this is a massive structure. Like it is r fairly large. Um, as you can see. It's pretty big. So if we orient ourselves, the entrance of our base is here. So I kind of want this, like, I still want it to be like, you know, make sense with the layout of our base. So if I, this is here, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and 
move this um, <clears throat> this way. I want it to be towards the back of our base. Um, okay, so that's not going to work. I need to actually anchor it on this side. Anchor. It may still not be enough room for it to move either. Can it go out far enough? Oh man, it can't. Um, wait, what if I do right there? And then it just needs to go out a little more. Man, if it can go out, that's maxed, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> so what I need to do is actually just, you know, build out a little bit so that I have the Y levels to move. Um, excuse me, unanchor yourself, please. Okay. I want it to be on the same level as everything else. Um, okay, open the GUI. And then now we can move it to where it needs to be. Okay, so it is not at all centered. But that's fixable um, by going this way. Okay, that looks good. And then if we... Yeah, I want it on the level of like our altars, the working areas I wanted one or like our extra areas one block below. So this would work. Uh, do I want to bring it in one? Or do I want to know maybe I bring it out one or two. And then I can like uh, expand this. How's that look? I think, I think it'll work. Uh, or do we want to, do I want to drop it? It'll be lower and then we can go, and you know what? We could even go even lower. So we walk down to it. Oh, I kind of like that idea. And then we're walking down the stairs to the altar. I like that. Yeah, that, that I like a lot more. So if we look at it now, yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay, cool. So it is going to tell us that we are missing a bunch of stuff. Let's get what I have out into my inventory. And we're probably going to need some more sooty marble, um, which is you, which is you. And then if we do this, we are missing even more sooty marble. Okay. And then what? Um, some of the marble arches. Is that what that is? I really should have just put my cutting stone cutter up here. We can make another one. Um, so let's put you like, uh, we're having mods that don't belong up here and it's driving me nuts. Um, marble bricks. You can go in there and we needed arches. There we go. And you are satisfied minus the attunement thing, but that's okay. And shabam, build it up. I love the copy paste gadget. So convenient for this. So convenient. I think I just put that into my inventory, but whatever. Otherwise you have to sit there and hand build this whole thing. And, you know, this is Minecraft, so building is a big part of Minecraft. But at the same time, um, it's a lot of work to have to build these things. So let's go ahead and fly. Try and, you know, make this make sense. Blend it into our structure that we have here. Um, and then I guess we can get some stairs. 
and have stairs leading down. How's that sound? Um, marble. Don't need a lot, but and we can do like this. And this with that there, so it kind of hides the gap. And then that there. Bam. So then we come, we step down here onto our altar. Yeah, I think I like the idea of that. So then we just need to make the celestial altar itself, um, which is this guy, or the attunement altar, I apologize. So that just requires any kind of crystal. It requires another relay. So we need to build a relay really quick and then go from there. Um, also, we need it to be nighttime, but we can gather all the stuff that we need in the interim. I don't like that it doesn't give me all the stuff. Um, planks. Nuggets. Some marble. Just regular marble. And a lens. And then for the attunement altar itself, two star metal, two aquamarine. Star metal, aquamarine, um, a rock crystal. I kind of like want to keep the ritual effect and the purity. So, we'll, oh, we learned more about these, by the way. We now have access to the focuses and stuff. Um, and four ruined marble. So that is going to be you. So now we need to go home and sleep the day away. Astral sorcery will make you lazy. You're sleeping all day, staying up all night. Uh, yeah, look, you can see our astral sorcery stuff on our map. So it kind of messes up our pyramid look, but that's okay. We don't look at it from the map. Just don't look at the map. Um, okay, so we come up here. We can put our template manager away. And we can do this. Yes. And do you have enough? I think you do have enough for this. You're not going to have enough for this. And you can see here, this is how much starlight power it's going to take to make our uh, attunement altar quite a bit more. So once the day is done and sets, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna come back when we have enough daylight. And there we go. We are good to go. And I know, realized I said when we have enough daylight, it's starlight that we're looking for. But just check that out. That just looks awesome. Like. Power of the stars. Okay, so then we just take our attunement altar and we eyeball the center of this thing, which looks to be about somewhere. Where is the center of this thing? Uh, it's gonna be on this line, like right here. Do you look centered? No. I think up one more. Yeah, look, there we go. Confirmed by the particle effects. Gotta love particle effects. Letting you know when you did things right. Um, and yeah, let's check out the quests for this. And our next step is our ritual pedestal and anchors and collector crystals and starting working on this. So we're gonna start making our own custom crystals and all that good stuff. But that is it for this episode. Um, real quick, let me see if we have any other constellations in the sky. It also depends on what time of day that you look. So it is just barely nighttime. Like the moon, well, actually the moon's pretty high in the sky. So do we see any, any big stars? Mm, no such luck, it doesn't seem. We may we may have access to now, by the way, if I get this constellation paper out, do, are we able to uh, get any of the other stars yet? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, well, there are other stars. Spoiler alert. But anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you watched today and hanging out with me, um, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel. In between episodes here, I'm going to go get our star metal cutting tool. 
uh, enchanted up at our old base so that way it is ready to go for us when we get into using it and yeah that's it uh thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one have a good one